issues in Europe today are to do don't adjust your television don't worry there's nothing wrong John Thompson just prefers to watch television in black and white somehow it has, it has a more importance to it it, it seems less trivial as, as there's more and more channels to settle down and watch a vintage black and white television seems as if you're doing something special. John isn't alone. More than 13,000 people in Britain are tuning in in black and white. In Britain, you must pay a television tax. The money goes to pay for the state broadcaster. So a black and white television like this, you'd have a license that would cost $78 versus $230 for color. Some of these sets at a museum in South London date back to 1936 when television began. But there were only a handful of sets, so expensive only the rich could watch, and that could be dangerous. Well, a lot of the early televisions did catch fire, because uh, we quite often the TV was sort of on a table in a window near the curtains. The TVs weren't terribly well made, and they'd overheat, catch fire, and set light to the curtains. Most people were content with their radios until the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953 which historians say really kicked off the television craze. Color arrived in the 60s, and most of the world has never looked back. Martin Allen is one man who doesn't want to forget the early days of television. As analog TV is closing down all over the world, we are determined as a group that what has gone before should not be lost and forgotten. Martin and fellow enthusiasts are trying to get the old gear up and running with the goal of one day once again broadcasting in black and white. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.